One Piece Chapter 815 Review. For me, this is a very controversial chapter, and it was very hard to decide how I was going to go about this review. Because I love, as a chapter, I love it. But I don't love where it's going. I really don't. Now, I would like to start off, I love how we continue to get this Yoko hype. We are continuing on the train of thought that Luffy is taking on opponents he cannot defeat when challenging him and Yoko. We are continuing on that path of having people constantly tell him, she is a demon. She is going to bring Yoko, you don't mess with Big Mom. Now, I love that it even goes off of what was said in the last chapter, where it said, even, or the chapter before that, I could be wrong. But, in, within the past two chapters, it, Capone, yeah, chapter eight, 812 it was, Capone said, even a demon from hell would come if Big Mom asked, her, asked him or her to. Because that is how important the reward of a Yoko is. I'm paraphrasing there, but it was pretty much stating that when a Yoko wants you somewhere, you're going to be there. And we also got to find out the reason Sanji left. The reason Sanji left is that Big Mom made a promise to Sanji. And that was that if he didn't go with them and marry this girl and go along with her plan so they could unite the two families... He would find the head of somebody he loved and, ca and cared about or had been involved with. Their head would be delivered to him in a box. And it was stated that it could be one of the straw hat heads. It could be the head of a cook from a barate in the East Blue. Luffy also proceeded and asked how the hell they would know about all of that, which I agree, that would be pretty creepy. But it is then explained that they know about that just because of how powerful they are. It literally stated that, my boy, is power. That is what power is. So it is very clear that what they're pretty much implying is that the Yonko are so influential and so powerful, they can just get information. They might as well be their own government. They can do whatever they want. They're that powerful. But it was later to explain, later on it was explained that Sanji's family is like the head family and like the underground organization, and Sanji's father is, and Sanji's father is the head of the family. He's the top dog, and of course, that meaning he's the strongest, which is another parallel to Hunter x Hunter. I've noticed it. I don't really watch Hunter x Hunter. Not the biggest fan of it, but I am seeing the parallel between that and Killua, Sanji and Killua. Both have left their families that are a family of assassins. Both have fathers who are the head of the family, incredibly strong. But the thing that has me interested the most about all of this is Luffy's statement in this chapter. Where this is a statement that interests me, but it also really it pissed me off. It made me angry. And that is when he told Nami, no, I'm going alone. I don't care what the reason Oda gives is, is that, listen... We got an ace rescue arc, alright? We got an ace rescue arc. That arc, let me explain to you, that was Amazon Lily, in Pal Down, Marine Ford. All of that was Luffy trying to save Ace. Was Luffy trying to save his brother when he, after the straw hack was separated at Shabodi Archipelago? What people need to understand about this is that. This is implying Luffy going to go off on another solo mission to save somebody. Now, I have multiple problems with this because at the moment, I can't see how Luffy could do it. Now, let me explain why. I mentioned it in my live reaction, but who the hell is going to take Luffy to Big Mom? Because with Ace, he had the Vivery card. And the Vivery card locked onto Ace's life force and led Luffy to Ace. L Luffy had a, a navigator in the Vivery card. How Luffy has already stated to Nami she's not going. So how is he getting there? Peckon's I'm something tells me Peckon is still loyal to Big Mom, so he probably won't take Luffy there. Maybe he will. But and then what? What's he gonna do? Take on a Yonko by himself? I mean I'm sorry, if Luffy takes on a Yonko by himself, he's dead. 
and he's either dies or he survives through plot armor, and I don't want that. I don't want another arc like Marine Board where Luffy survives and the plot can be plot armor and other character conveniently being in certain location, which is also kind of plot armor. <sighs> but there are other things as well. Just that it feels like it's just setting up another crew separation, which really is not something I want. But at the same time, it is setting up something interesting, and that is a disagreement between Luffy and Zoro, which I'm going to talk, which I actually have a video going up next week on. But because think about it, Luffy and Zoro are disagreeing constantly. This arc, in last chapter, Zoro was like, "Luffy, what the hell is wrong with you?" Stop. That, that cook left on his own. It's not our problem. Leave it be. You can't take on two freaking Yonko. You already pissed off. Kaido already wants you dead, Luffy. And I love that. And in this chapter, he Zoro literally tells Luffy, Do I have to kick your ass? What did I already say? That co the cook left of his own, on his own free will. Don't get involved any more than you already have. Now, I know Zoro cares about Sanji. Let's be honest. Behind all of this, I don't give a crap a theory that they both put up. They are friends. And Zoro does care. They're crewmates. And I find it very odd that Zoro is so against Luffy going to talk to Sanji and save Sanji. But, the main thing here I don't understand is why Oda Silva needs to do it in a, solo, a Luffy solo arc unless there's a small possibility, I have a theory on it that I'm gonna bring up in a video probably in the next, probably next week or two, but there is always the possibility that Sanji will die. That is possible, that we'll have a repeat of Marine Ford, Luffy will go in and say Sanji on his own, and Sanji will die. Now, I feel like this is very possible, and I'll, I'll probably make a video on this, because this is, this is a big discussion, and it should be its own separate video. But, I just want to point out that Sanji's not dying without the whole crew there. No straw had to go in to die and let the crew in together. I'm sorry, that is fact. Well, no, I take that back. It's not fact. It's something I will stand by, as this is a fact. Dude, I don't see, I think it would be a very stupid move writing-wise. That Sanji died, especially without Zoro being there. If Sanji died, Zoro has to be there. I am sorry. The potential for an amazing moment between him and Zoro is just, it's too much. Like, when they, like, shake hands or something, it's too much. But, I mean, if I had to rate the chapter, like, I would say an, an 8 out of 10. Mostly an 8 out of 10, did I feel like we're going to get a Luffy solo arc? Then Luffy said he wants to say Sanji solo, and you know Luffy, once he makes up his mind, he's not going to change it. And, you know, I give it an 8 out of 10. There was that one thing, interesting scene at the end of the chapter where uh, the monkey ran off after Kinemo and, um, what's his name? Kanjiro arrived. That was very interesting. On a side note, there was, I'm talking about a couple minor things, I'm just now remembering. And there was also the fact that there was uh, the fact that all, uh, Robin, Frankie, and Brooke fell asleep. That kind of bothered me a bit. That kind of did, because honestly, I don't see them doing that, but whatever. There could be a reason behind that. But yeah, just because there were a couple things in the chapter that rubbed me the wrong way, I would give it an 8 out of 10. But besides those, like, two or three things, it was an amazing chapter. The comedy was great. The, prog the story progression and the pacing was great. Much better. I'll give the one thing. Even though I did not enjoy it until about... Until... May, until... I didn't start enjoying it a lot until recently. Probably until Capone showed up. I will say this much. That the chapter... And the pacing have been much better during Dress Rosa. And it's doing really well. It's got up a lot in my book. It was an 8 out of 10. Pretty good chapter. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please like comment and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.